Well, hello, friends. Back by popular demand, I would like to discuss a video that I posted two weeks ago concerning a Wing Chun fighter and a mixed martial artist, Zhu Zhaodong. And to be honest with you, it really bugged me watching that fight because I'm a Wing Chun guy myself. And I just, if I was in the Wing Chun guy's corner, if I was training with him, these are a few things that I probably would have prepared him for. Um, knowing what MMA fighters have to offer. So I um, hope you enjoy it. And again, it's just my two cents. I'm not trying to be a Monday morning quarterback because I do know how hard it is to step into the ring and to fight somebody in front of you. And it's not always apparent until after the fact when you're watching your film or watching somebody else's film or where the mistakes are. So I get all that. And I give a lot of um, respect to people who are willing to put their money where their mouth is, for better or for worse, right? Um, so that's basically my two cents. I hope you enjoy it. And um, here we go. So basically, the MMA guy, the Wing Chun guy, is standing on his drum side. Okay? And the MMA guy, Zhu, is kind of circling. All right? And he's flat footed. This is not good because if you're. Just imagine if you're running a race and and your opponent is getting ready to, to run the sprint and you're standing like this, it's not gonna work. So if your opponent is circling you, even though you have the jong sao, you, you can you can still stand like this and you can you can still move around, but do not stay flat footed and do not stay still. Because what happens is that if you're still, if Alex comes in and throws something, boom, it makes me a sitting duck, and that's what happened to him. So that's number one. You want to keep your hand up. Just kind of feel them out a little bit. Feel them out. Feel them out. Okay. And another thing that I noticed is that he just immediately he was in his jump side, just immediately just went into that center line attack. To me, that is um, that's not a very experienced move because um, an experienced fighter usually kind of feels at his opponent before he attacks. And if you just come in, attack like he did, what he, what, what Zoo did was when he was throwing those punches, he kept his head down. So basically all he's doing is hitting his hand, hand on top of his head. And that's gonna break your hand eventually. So that's probably not a good idea. You wanna feel like your opponent. And if they give you the center line, then take that center line. So if I'm circling here, say Alex throws me something here. See, I can feel it out. So if he just throws, boom, now that center line's given. Okay, and and another thing is, is that um, the Wing Chun, we talk about center line, but it's not just this center line here. So if Alex gives me a punch here, you know, this is center line too, because he's broken center. So as an experienced fighter, what you want to do is you want to feel like your opponent. See what he's got, you know? What you feel like that? You know, if you throw something, go ahead. Yeah, just throw, just kind of feel it out. Feel it out, you know? feel it out. And come in once you see an opening. And take that center line. And that's the time and place. But you don't just immediately just, you know, just run out and start taking that center line because that's um, it's not always a wise move. Um, another thing that I saw was the clinch work. He had no clinch work, you know. And Wing Chen, we talk about this right here, right? Chi Sao. This is the bridge. This is great. But we're here. But what happens when we're here? Right? A lot of guys don't train for this. You know, this is clinching. So what, what he allowed, two things he did wrong. Is that number one, when Zhu was in the clinch with, with him, he didn't do anything to fight off this, this tie clinch. You know, he didn't do anything to do that. Instead, he kept his head down. And he didn't even try to defend it by putting his hand here or anything. He just, he, he just kept his head down and Zhu just kneed him in the head. Boom, right there. So that's number one. So if somebody gets you in the clinch, you know, work on your swim drills, you know. Put your hand up. You know, that's one way to get out of it. Another way is, come right here, posture up. All right? You'll allow your opponent to grab you. And if, if he's got a really tight clinch on you, you gotta work your way back underneath. Don't let him don't let him get inside of you like that. So you gotta work in the clinch drill as well. Or, you know, right here, you know, in their movie did Wing Chen got grabbed and zoo back of the head like this. Horrible to do. Because that's when he got thrown into the color. So again, work on your swim drills, you know. If, you, if he's clinching. Don't, you, don't, get, don't let him take the double clinch, double underhook. Just work on that, all right? And you know your balance, work on it. 
You know, you could you could chuck them with your shoulder. All right. So um, let's see what else. That. Oh, and another thing I saw was that um, he had his head down and was punching with his head down. You know, you're never gonna win a fight with your head down punching like that. All right, and I think part of that was desperation. He was at that point he was losing the fight, so he was just kind of throwing punches like that. Zoo grabbed him by the back of the shirt, and you know, just threw a knee and knocked him out. So, um, so basically, again, you know, when you when you're when, you, when you're squaring up with somebody, you want to keep your chin down. And when you're throwing, you gotta have some purpose to that. If I'm just gonna throw, uh, my hands are low. Let's say he throws me a punch. Say if he, he throws a punch, look at where his hands are. They're low. Boom. I could go right through. So you also want to be on offense and defense. Throw, offense, defense, keeping your chin down. Okay. Um, another thing was that he threw a kick. Okay. Alex throws a kick. Boom. That's one way to check a kick. Right. So he throws a kick. Step in. Right hand counters it with the right hand. But what the mistake they missed, he threw a higher kick, and Zoo just threw that, that right punch, which is a proper counter to a right kick, a right point. But what he didn't do, the Wing Chen guy, was that first off, you don't just throw a kick like that, just throw it. You want to make sure that if you're going to throw a kick, your head is out of that, that plane. So that that right hand, if I throw a kick and Alex counters with the right hand, my head is right here. He can't reach me. If I throw a kick like this, boom, and my chin is straight up, I'm going to go to sleep. That's what happened. Get knocked down. So that is pretty much my two cents on what I feel and what I saw. Full disclosure, everything was shot on one take, and it was all done spontaneously. So try not to roast me too much. But that's really my two cents, and um, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments below. And hey, let's have another constructive... Um, discussion about this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. What are you waiting for?